Okay, I'm gonna explain uh, what I am trying to do with this build, with this idea. This may not even work in the end, but I think it's in, an interesting idea. The main idea is to have very short duration poison, like uh, 0 0.12 second duration poison. Either way, maybe I'll even make a video out of this. But the main idea is, I guess, use Held of Thunder. So I'm going to be switching everything here, almost everything, with the Held of Thunder ring. Held of Thunder ring, each time it uh, hits the enemy, it does damage to me. And that damage, hopefully, will be enough to provide a similar duration leech. And I want to use it with Tainted Pack. So I do need to reflect poisons. Oh, and it's going to be Poison Held of Thunder reflect poisons to myself and the poison is gonna last a slightly bit shorter duration than the next hit and it's gonna be hitting like over six times per second so every hit uh, does the poison before the next hit and uh, also gonna be scaling the 300 percent increased damage against non-poison enemies so this one from here and then i believe I was planning for two or three more i don't even know how many more jewels three okay so three modules so 1.2 thousand increased damage against non-poison enemies the damage is going to be horrible i mean and it's going to be expensive so this is not really a viable build but it's like a concept idea sort of i won't be able to use i guess worms worms would increase the 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 leech but by, by the way the leech i i do need to have leech and the leech is going to be coming from a, a flask modifier like this 15 percent of the damage taken from hits is leech as life during flask effect the flask will be 100 percent uptime it will be automated and the herald when it hits enemy it will do damage to me and it will provide leech to me and then it, it will also poison enemy and myself and when i poison myself it will heal me because tainted pack heals me from here's damage over time while i'm leeching so my hope is that the leech is gonna be a bit longer than the poison duration hopefully i'm not sure if i'm gonna be doing enough damage with just this one and i will also need to match the trigger rate of the held of thunder to the poison duration because the poison needs to be a shorter duration than the gap between the triggers uh, and i'm gonna be using sadism uh, at least in pub my poison duration can be like 0 0.12 seconds and the hit rate is gonna be a bit slower than that so essentially by the time the next hit happens the poison has already expired i'm not gonna pay too much attention to the path of building numbers because this is not going to be a serious build anyway. And I'm pretty sure that the damage is going to be bad anyway. This is also the Alchemist Mark. Alchemist Mark also doesn't care about the poison duration. All it cares about the poison damage. So I'm also going to be throwing in Alchemist Mark. Which is going to uh, create pretty strong cost ground. Okay, not that strong. Uh, but hopefully everything combined is going to add up. And it will somehow do decent damage. I should actually check Vicky to see the leech duration limit it doesn't have a minimum amount oh boy we are going into the most dangerous thread about leech yeah it's only that much about leech that that's the table of content okay duration leech duration i'm not sure if it has a minimum leech duration i guess i'll just try and see what happens i decided okay since i already decided pathfinder what could i do with that maybe held up thunder poison and then i was like ah but tainted pack could also heal me and i forgot to mention that uh, for reduced duration i should also be using volkur's guidance the initial idea was held up thunder poison and i was like okay i don't want to use voltaxic rift so i guess I, i'm gonna have to use volkur's guidance but it's annoying that it has 50 percent less poison duration However, if I actually lower the poison duration to very, very short duration, I could maybe even actually benefit from that. So I'm going to be using this with the sadism. I'm actually not sure. Well, right now, I guess it doesn't matter that much. The 300% damage against non-poison enemies. Will I have enough plus sustain? I am maybe going to be using Tides of Time just to have plus sustain. Like, uh, which fire brew would be automated completely? So for, for a bit more damage, Bismuth for resistances. I will only be using one Storm Secret ring. I also need to crit uh, because Elemental Overload is just like 40% more damage. I don't need very high crit chance. I only need to crit once every 8 seconds. But... It's way too far to travel to reach uh, Elemental Overload. So uh, I'm going to try to craft Oscillating Scepter, which does grant Elemental Overload. But then I can also use Cotras Regulator. Oh, another, another problem. I may need Petrified Blood because 
if I don't have over leech, then if I get healed, the leech instant stops. But the poison may st still do enough damage to just straight up one shot me. So I think I may actually need to run Petrified Blood, which will give me over leech. But I'm not sure what I'm going to be like reserving because I'm going to be using Lone Messenger, which disables all the other auras. We should not disable Petrified Blood. I believe Petrified Blood is not an aura. Uh, I could also squeeze an Aspect of the Spider. Right, I'm gonna make a switch now and then... I, I did a quick test before, but like it's hard to tell if I was even doing any poison damage. But now we will find out. I plan on using Can of Cooler Mark. This one does give a lot of damage and even plus 5 stuff with... Lighting damage and dot multi would not out damage this stuff. It just gives so much. And I mainly need, I guess, damage over time multiplier. Right, so golden rule to reflect poisons. I will also need to refund everything here, actually. Uh, I cannot use this until 78. Oh my god, this is not gonna. Okay. If I cannot have 100% uptime on Bismuth Flask, it's. I, I just died. Yep, I just died. Okay, this needs to change a lot. I have to keep this. I have to keep the trader. Otherwise, if I don't have the flask active, I'll be just instantly dead. I may also not want quality on the Herald of Thunder. I think right now I don't want quality. No. Because quality will increase the frequency. And right now, well, I guess it doesn't matter that much right now. No, I probably should get quality. Okay, I'll get quality later. These are gonna be the supports. For now, I will continue using added heres. Did I? Oh, I also need the. Oh no. Oh no. So I need to get that with corruption and. Okay, corruption later. Right now, I just need a six link, I guess. For testing purpose, I won't try to six link it and I won't be using a corrupted one yet. I just need like a five link to begin with. Maybe should I have used the bench to grab five link? Yes. See you. Need some help. Need some help, yes. Could you six link this, uh, five link it at least? Oh, thank you. Thank Careful. you. That was very nice. Petrified Blood, I guess I could use level one. It's literally just to enable overreach. But first, I will test if I even need overreach. What is my chance of poison? 100%. Okay, so I don't need Hell of Agony. Although I guess I could maybe even use it now. Ah, uh, no, I will need. Wait, is the flash 100% uptime? It is. Well, I shouldn't really need two life flasks. I shouldn't, in the end, I, I won't even use a life flask, probably. How about resistances? Yes. Oof, I don't really have any good weapon for this. Cannot use battle mage, so no Nictas. There was a, a scepter. This scepter. Breath of the Council. Ah, level 66. Kane is like level 68. Yeah, 68. What else could I use right now? The Dark Seer, would that actually work for me? I guess. But I don't have enough here. So... Damn, you got mirror. It's all thanks to me. You were watching my stream and the mirror drop. It's, it's all me, right? Spell damage doesn't work. I guess I could add decay for now. Actually, let's just throw this in. Let's just use that. Also need casting damage taken. Man, I guess something to cast. What is my chance to shock? Okay, so it's terrible. Kind of needs to be in a folding setup. Dang it. Okay, I think the basic setup is ready. I'm gonna go test. I don't have petrified blood active yet. So first I wanna see uh, if I can survive. I will probably instantly die. First I wanna see if I can survive without petrified blood. But first, do I even trigger a leech or long enough leech? I may just instantly die and that's gonna be it for the for the build idea. First Crap. Okay, I just realized another problem. Oh no. Whenever I cast Crackling Lance, I will shock enemies and I will poison them. And I will reflect the poison on me. But I won't be proking leech from because I have not taken any damage yet. Okay, I need to figure out what to do about that. So that will proc the leech. Okay, let's let's try again. Now I will hopefully have leech source. First, I need to enter and wait for these flash to activate, and then use that next to an enemy. This one does damage to you. You take fifty percent damage. 
you're, you're thinking about the one that heals you and then does damage over time. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Hup. Hmm. What just happened? Or maybe my leash just expired. Okay, let's put on In the face of some empty ecstasy. Only one option. I'm gonna have to science the shit out of this. I want to science the shit out of this. Uh, okay, let's try the petrified blood. Alan, 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 Al, Alan, Alan. I'm alive. I'm Alan. alive. I'm dead. Alan, Alan, Alan. Alan, I think Alan, currently poison Alan, is longer Alan, than the. Alan, Al, Alan, Stop Alan, it! Stop it, Alan. Alan! There's no Alan here. Alan! 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 Uh, I think currently my poison duration is longer than leech duration, which is very, very concerning because I am using worms, which makes it easier to uh, reach the leech cap. Let's quickly import the build and see the duration. But then I won't know the. Leech duration. 0 0.12. So poison duration is already fine. I don't know why that happened. It was fine until I think it stopped hitting enemies and then it wasn't fine. So which means my leech duration is still shorter than the poison duration. Let's try again. Maybe this zone is not the right place to test. Okay, look, it's fine, 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 it's fine. Up, 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 up. I saw a degen. Maybe it was when I... Hmm. If I... Look, if I were to cast Crackling Lance now, I will instantly die. Okay, the poison damage was low enough that it didn't instantly kill me. And then I saw it stopped. But then the hell proc I think the hell proc And then it killed me. That's so weird. Let's, let's try and get through this zone. Okay, enemies. Could you let me through without a fight? Like... Oh. Look at that, it's it's doing something. Not definitely not damage. Don't ask how I'm gonna be dealing with bosses with this kind of damage. I'll just intimidate bosses to death. See this is the problem with tainted pact or as people call it baited pact. Something always goes wrong. The leech, for some reason, did not activate. Some monsters may actually be reducing my damage so much that... No, wait. That that shouldn't be the case. I'm not leeching damage from monsters. I'm leech leeching damage from damage to myself with the flask. It may be that my leech incense is too short. So, with the lighting rest, I'm taking... Uh, I am still getting hit by 62 Your leech is super flare short damage. And you went behind a pillar. Therefore being out of line of sight and not attacking, but you still had poisons. But this is very concerning. If Leash falls off with worms, it has no way of succeeding later on. I will be getting more life as well. Look at my HP pool. Getting hit. Here, 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 here. So, uh, yeah. Wait. I do not have poison active. No, no. The Hell of Thunder started hitting me, so it was still hitting. You can actually see like my hp bar moving multiple times you see that was that looked like exactly like held of thunder hitting enemy and doing damage with the ring to me uh died to the self damage how can i fix something if i don't exactly know why it happened i think it wasn't from poison i can actually get increased flask effect it will scale uh this 15 percent higher and i think you normally need to do that but like, I am using worms already. That shouldn't be needed. What do you mean for leech? Leech is not... No, I did not. Because leech is a mechanic that no one understands until they read wiki a couple times and then they think they understand for the next five minutes. Surviving for now. That's it. If I'm dying like this right now with worms... It has no way of surviving later. As soon as I start hitting enemies, it means that my leech duration is way too short. Even with worms, it's insane. My poison duration should be 0 0.12 seconds right now, which means my leech duration is still less. Get LA leech. Later on, I will be using deadly ailments. Okay, where do I get LA leech? 
Can I make poison duration shorter? Yes. But then I literally don't do damage with it. This is not going to work because if I cannot sustain long enough leech with the storm secret ring and this flask, it's just not gonna work. Oh, forbidden right to kill me faster? Yeah, good idea. It's only gonna be doing what? 40% of my life as he has damage with negative he has rest. I could do that, sure. I mean, what's, what's gonna happen? Let's try. Forbidden right. Okay, so forbidden right, link to gas and damage taken. Uh, does not need life tap. Does need life tap. And overcharge to provide shocks. So now I will most likely die to forbidden right. Have not died yet. Ah, yep, yep. I clicked the flask and immediately died. I know why that happened. Because I, I used the flask that does 50% of my life as hairs on use and immediately you uh, forbidden right to guess which does another 40%. So it literally just always kills me. But how did it not kill me the first time? I guess I could instead of cracking lines use forbidden right self cast. It will do damage to me. It will poison enemies. And hopefully it will shock them. And then it should be fine, I think. I think what what happened is I got hit and at the same time I triggered forbidden right with Casman damage taken and that was just straight up killed me. This is why you don't play Tainted Pact. Or at least you don't level with it. There's literally nothing else I can do. Unless there is literally something else I can I can do. Okay, how, how do I get leech? Wait, there's a ring. 1% there is another ring. 1% damage leech as life against shocked enemies. The highwayman ring has 1% leech with no conditional. Total recovery per second from leech from life leech is double. Too bad no one understands that sentence. But it does something. So I'm gonna use Forbidden right now. I guess I could also use this. It will trigger cast and damage taken, cracking lines. And if I use that, it will immediately... Uh, actually, no, I should avoid using... Oh, wait, I think I know why it happened. The Forbidden right when it procced... Well, sometimes it, it, it straight up killed me. But another reason was that it, it does not have short duration poison. Because it's not linked to sadism. I have to not use manly uh, forbidden right. Yeah, I have to rely on this flask to trigger cast and damage taken. Oh no, that doesn't change anything. It's still not linked to sadism. Oh no, I, I need another five links set up just for that. I cannot not have a life tap. Cannot not have a overcharge. That's another problem because crackling line still poisons enemies with. Uh, but uh, my poison duration should also be better. Uh, leech duration should also be better. So let's see. So far, I am still alive. Oop, almost died. Well, damage is always gonna be a problem. Oh, it's not even shocked. Oh, now it is. Well, that's weird. That is still weird. Like, I have the ring. I should not have ran out of leech. I don't see how I can overcome this later on because I will have more life so I will be taking less damage and I will be doing less hit damage with the uh, Hell of Thunder because of the deadly ailments. I would need like a 5 link Forbidden Right because it will poison so I, I still need to link Forbidden Right to status to reduce the poison duration. But also there's a chance that when enemy hits me and does a lot of damage before I start like all the loop. Enemy does damage to me, removes my life, and then Forbidden Right gets triggered with cast and damage taken and also does damage to me and it just kills me. And later on enemy is going to be hitting for much more. It's really cool uh, how Tainted Pact can provide you so much like fake tankiness. And Hell Thunder builds usually struggle with surviving their own damage. I see the exit. If I just don't attack anything, maybe I can get to the next, next zone. I'm so squishy, but also I'm so tanky until I'm not. 
Not many builds can tank these while going through the campaign. Oh, almost died. Hmm. And I give up. Uh, Apex also gives me no damage, really. The thing is, it would literally not really give me damage. Deal damage fast. It may actually even be too much. Let's let's put on Apex and PUB. Let's see what happens. The poison duration is 0 0.1. Actually, it didn't lose that much. It was 0 0.12. So it's 0 0.12 or 0 0.10. It's not reducing anymore. It's not the Herald of Thunder uh, that is killing me, but uh, Castle Damage taken, but procs Lightning Skill that is not linked to Sadism. That has... Like in general, it's just not going to work. The reach duration is too short still. And I am using Worms right now. So it's kind of nuts, but it's not enough. Uh, another idea that I had was to use Held of Thunder and, and use the Fire version of Alcura Guidance and use Fire Burst weapon. The cooldown is like 1.5 seconds, something like that. Well, then I would be using Held of Thunder to cycle the thing. But then again, it's, it's not enough. No, I think I give up on this. This is not going to work. Interesting concept, but yeah, I don't like dying 15 times per zone.